Hi folks, we are watching the making of a Kodi Kodi Nangwa. This is one episode you must watch till the very end, especially if you love your halwa. This is a green chilli halwa. You have to take only cherry pieces of this halwa because it is sweet and then you get the heat from that green chilli. Tender coconut. Tender coconut halwa. Chunks of red halwa kept in the showcase and to him it looked like meat but of course meat that was sweet and therefore the name Sweet Meat Street or Mithai Teravu. We are on SM Street in Kori Kod, also known as Mithai Teravu, and we are here to explore the Kori Kod Halwa. So I am with Chef Arun Nair, who is the executive chef for the Ravi's Kori Kod, and also a long time resident of Kori Kod. Yeah. So he is our guide to explore the Kori Kod and Halwa. So firstly, what makes the Calicut Halwa? All the Kori Kod and Halwa is so popular. Uh, from the olden days and all, uh, the main thing in our families and all, uh, whoever visits us. So it's a it's a kind of guest reception kind of thing that uh, in our uh, tea coffee sessions we used to have Calicut Halwa. Okay. And whoever comes to Calicut will go back with Calicut Halwa. But what is it about that Halwa that makes it so you know typical of this region? The process of making and the difference from all other region okay. and the variety and the flavor. So we are going to explore the Kori Kod Halwa here on Mithai Terubu. Sweet Meat Street. Sweet Meat Street. That's a delicious name for a street. So where are we going to explore the Kori Kod and Halwa? We are going to Shankaran Bakery. Shankaran Bakery. Yeah. They are the oldest sweet meat stall that's Calicut. selling the Kori Kod and or the Calicut Halwa. And Chef, whenever I see a sign which says we have no branches, yes. I know we are at the real deal. Yeah, we are the real deal. Right, so yeah. they are confident enough that people will come to this one branch to taste that halwa. Yeah, that sure. speaks for the confidence of the establishment. Yes. So let's go in and explore the Kori Kodan halwa or the Calicut halwa at Shankaran Bakery. This establishment is a century old. So who began this? Shankaran. Okay, your father began it. Very old customer. So here's a customer who's been visiting here for 37 years. What's your favorite halwa? Godam. Godam halwa. Meat halwa. Banana halwa. Banana halwa. So I can see that halwa showcase at the back. Let's explore that halwa showcase a little closer. So how many generations now of this store? So first, second, third. third. Uh, Mr. Rishi is the uh, third generation at the Shankaran Bakery. Uh, according to him, they are uh, using some traditional recipes ah. from his great uh, grandfather, and they have not deviated from that recipe till now. All right. That's the main reason of the uh, popularity of the halwas from this. Of the halwas from his store. The British viceroy, Sir Sir Sandarshi Samet, Anna, he halwa got to have them born in the era. Madhuri Mala Erachi. Ah, that's a very interesting story now. So apparently when the British Viceroy was passing through this area, he saw chunks of red halwa kept in the showcase and to him it looked like meat. But of course meat that was sweet and therefore the name Sweet Meat Street or Mithai Teravu. We are in a busy Mithai store and there are all these customers who have been coming here for decades. So can we taste some halwa sir? This is a classic wheat halwa. I love yes. that sticky texture, sweet but not too oh, sweet. Good. You get that, and then that nourishing thickness of that wheat. Tender coconut. So there's tender coconut in this. Tender coconut. You can definitely taste the toasty coconut masala. note in that. This is masala halwa. Masala halwa. Masala okay. Halwa. Now this is something I haven't tasted before. This is a masala halwa. Ten varieties of masala. Guru mulagi pepper. Chukku, chukku is a rye ginger, rye ginger, cardamom, karambata, grambu, bay leaf. You can definitely taste that savouriness. His name is Arabian black. So they also have a halwa, which is a superfood halwa, flaxseed halwa. So this is all new. Oh, new items. Although they have a hundred-year-old tradition, they keep innovating, which results in some of these flavors. Green chilli halwa. 
Is, is that chili seeds in that? Chili, chili seeds. Chili chili seeds. seeds. Is it spicy? spicy? Yeah, it's spicy. It's Sweet it's and hot. Hot and hot. You have to take only cherry pieces of this halwa because it is sweet and then you get the heat from that green chilli. The very traditional of them all, the banana halwa. What banana is this? Plantain. Plantain. The yellow one. So, this is the halwa. Like they say, gold is gold. Watermelon halwa with the watermelon seeds? Yes, watermelon. Watermelon seeds. Oh, this has been a halwa feast. They bought 40 varieties of halwa here. If you come here, you can actually spend a good two hours just tasting the halwa and then deciding what halwa you want to finally select. I personally love that Godi halwa. I think it's a traditional classic halwa and also that banana halwa. So this is the fig halwa. Mm. Natural figs. Natural figs. You can definitely, there is a crunch. How many days can you keep the halwa when you buy it? 20 days. 20 days, no problem. Now that we've tasted the halwas, I'm quite curious to know how these halwas are made. So the gentlemen here have been kind enough to allow us access to their production unit. So let's go there and watch the making of the... Kori Kodan halwas. Kori Kodan halwa or the Calicut halwa here in Kori Kod. Let's go. So we are in the production unit now of Shankaran Bakery where all the halwas that are sold at this store are being made. We are right next to a holding chest. Cooling unit. These are all tender coconut halwas. Kori Kod surely loves its tender coconut halwa. So what's special about tender coconut halwa? We have uh, fresh tender coconuts uh, available all the year round and uh, this is the most uh, demanded variety of halwas. A batch of halwa that's already made. But let's go and watch the authentic. Authentic and traditional uh, Calicut halwas. Kori Kodan. Kori Kodan halwas. Kori Kodan. Kori Kodan. Kori Kodan. Kori Ra Ra. Kori. Uh, yes. Kori Kodan. Kori Kodan. Is that correct? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. He's not too happy with the pronunciation <laughs> like consolation prize. Yeah. Just for participating, he's given me a prize. But let's go and watch the making of the Kori Kodan. Kori Kodan halwa. Halwa is made on this pick. Yeah, pick. And they use wood shavings to fire the stove. Yes. The wood chips are fed through this opening here. Yeah. Through and that's this how opening. they fire. Water. And some sugar. So how many kilos? Is it's around 5 kg. So they're making a sugar syrup. Yeah, sugar syrup basically. Lemon salt. So that lemon salt gives it some acidity. Yeah, right. and access in uh, preservative. There's some lemon salt that went in. It's got 4 kilos of sugar but just maybe a teaspoon or so of lemon salt. You want this, sir? Mm. Mm. It's quite sour. Some corn flour. 1 kg corn flour. 2 liters of water. So to make 14 kilos of halwa, you start with 4 kilos of sugar. 4 kilos of sugar. Some water. And water. then a kilo of cornstarch yeah, and 2 liters of water. Yeah, 2 liters of water. Thing powder that they call the lemon salt. Lemon salt. Which is actually some sort of a preservative. Preservative. So that's how they increase the temperature. Flame, temperature. How many halwa do you make every day? He only makes around 40 halwas. 40 halwas? 40 slots of halwas. The cornstarch. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. For a true kodi kodi halwa, you need the coconut oil. Coconut oil. Jodi Prabhu here is making about half a ton of halwas every day. And right now we are making the dry fruit halwa. Oil and all, it's leavening from the sides. Uh, and uh, next step, uh, the additional, sugar. yeah, some more sugar he has added in. So basically, the base of a halwa is the sugar, right? So, yeah, of the sugar. 7 or 8 kilos of ingredients that have gone in, about 6 kilos is sugar. Yeah, sugar. So, constant stirring, huh? Yeah, constant stirring. Till the last minute. Ah, tutti fruity. Yeah, tutti fruity. Yeah, coconut oil coconut goes oil. again. This is tough work and sometimes I wonder when we eat that out there, you know, when we buy a halwa from that shop, you know, we eat it, we enjoy it, but we don't think about the effort that goes into making it. Yeah, that's true. Please make note of the effort that goes into making that halwa. You will savour that halwa a lot more.
can just see the consistency yeah. changing. Yeah, it's now becoming thicker. Yeah, it's becoming thicker. And chef was just telling me that the reason why he keeps stirring constantly is to ensure that there are no lumps. Lumps. As you have seen, we have uh, added uh, tutti frutti into the mix, ah. and uh, after that, uh, after the consistency just changes, we'll add the next level of dry fruits into the mix. Oh. A green color. So there's some color that's gone in. That halwa has now changed to a green, almost fluorescent yeah, green almost. color. Some dates, dates have gone into the halwa mix. Oh, that looks beautiful. So that's a onakka mundri or the raisins that I've gone in. Two kg cashew nut and date date two kg. Two, two kg. And uh, mundri eight kg. Eight kg. There's also some essence that's gone in. Yeah, essence. Pista so essence. essence. And some more oil to bind to bring all that together. Ready? All right. You know, normal process just cannot lift it. It's as heavy as that. But he just goes on stirring, stirring, stirring to make that halwa. So all that halwa is now going into the trays. Yeah, trays and uh, it'll cool. Yeah, yeah it will get cool as we saw earlier in that cooling chamber. Correct. So it will go into that cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. And it will bring. It will come down to room temperature. Yeah, room temperature. And as it comes down to room temperature, it will solidify. Yeah, we'll solidify and we'll pack it. That halwa is being cooled. We've got some more of that dry fruit halwa here to taste. How many days you can keep this halwa? One week. One, One week. week. It'll stay. No problem. Room no temperature. Problem. Yeah, room temperature. This halwa was made just this morning, so it has cooled down. Another sticky jaminess of the halwa. The dates that come through. Dates, raisins, nuts. It's a playful medley of textures. Of course, the underlying flavor note is sweetness. An intense yeah. amount of sweetness, thanks to the six or seven kilos of sugar that go into it. So chef, that was quite an experience yeah. tasting all those Kodi Kodi and halwas. Yes. So I've got my halwa, and you should get some too if you are in Kodi Kodi. Make sure you come to Sankaran Bakery here on Mithai Terubu and taste some of that delicious halwa on offer. After all, they have a tradition that goes back a century. Until the next episode of Gourmet on the Road, stay safe and happy, happy eating. eating. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed this Gourmet on the Road episode. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment below happy eating